If you don't have Elementor Pro, you will come across this problem. I'm talking about gallery. Now in Elementor Pro, we got advanced gallery and we have features and settings where we can say on the desktop, we wanna show four or five columns, on the tablet three, and when you get to the mobile one or two. But if you're on Elementor Free and you go to the basic gallery as I am over here, what you'll find is that is when you get to mobile, it doesn't allow you to show more than one column. I'm not gonna go through the settings of the basic gallery. This isn't the point of the video. It's just about what happens when you then get to the mobile. Now, if I put this onto responsive mode and we go into mobile over here, can you see now, right? Over here, there is no setting for me to decide, well, in the mobile, I want it to be two. So look, if I go and put in two, it will actually do that for the desktop. So this uh, field over here for columns, this is only gonna work for the desktop. Now, a lot of people kind of complain about that, but to be honest, if you're not gonna go for Elemental Pro, that's one of the reasons why you gotta go to Elemental Pro. But can you get around that? Yes, you can. However, it means duplicating a section and then hiding sections. Now, if you care about bloat or the loading of images on your website, this is not always recommended. But if you've got Elemental free and you're not going to go down the pro route, let me show you how you do that. So we have a section where we currently have four columns. I am going to now duplicate uh, basically that widget. You could do it via section if you want. Um, I mean, and I would probably recommend you do do it via a section because what we're going to do is add in a column. If you do it this route, like here, you're going to have to add in an inner section, which isn't a great idea. So let's now undo that. What we'll do is we will now add in another section. So we've got a duplicate. We've got the original one down here where it will show, um, in fact, let's just sort that one out. This section is fine for the desktop, but for the mobile, it doesn't look good. So we're gonna go to advanced, go to responsive, and we are gonna say hide this on the tablet and the mobile, okay? Tablet and mobile, we are gonna hide it. Let's go back over to this section now. We're gonna to go to responsive and we're gonna say hide this on the desktop, but we won't do it yet until I've done it. Because if I do it now, you're gonna get this hash effect. So let's just leave it for now. What I'm now gonna do is actually duplicate that column like that. Into this column over here, I am gonna say set this to be one. And over here, I'm gonna say set this to be one as well. Now at the moment, we are duplicating the content completely. So this is where you're gonna to have to now go through and go, well, okay, in this gallery in column one, I don't want that image, that image, that image, and that image, okay? Start to define what you're gonna show. And in the second column, I'm gonna get rid of the first four images over like that. One, two, three, four, there we go. So what we should now have, is we have the original desktop version, which shows all the images, which is fine. We have no issue with that. But over here, we're gonna have four images in column one and four images in column two, obviously to avoid duplication. You are gonna have to mess around with it. So let me just get rid of the uh, margins and padding here. You know, depending on the look you're going for within your website. Let's now just switch this over to be the mobile. As you can see, column one is above column two, and that's because of the size of them. So I'm just gonna go over to this section and I'm going to just change the padding a little bit, just so we have something like that. I'm then gonna to go to column one. So the section, I just changed the padding. In column one, the layout, I'm gonna make this be a uh, 50%. And for column two, I'm gonna make the layout for this also be 50%. Can you now see what we have done? If I now go over to this section and I say for responsive, hide it on the desktop. So if we now view this on preview on the desktop, we get the four column approach. This is the basic gallery on Elementor, okay? If we now switch over to the mobile, I can't see the original desktop one and I now have my two column approach for the mobile, okay? so. This is the way to do it. If you're not gonna down Elemental Pro, I would strongly recommend you do that so you reduce the amount of extra add-ons that you're gonna need within your website. But I see this problem crop up a lot, but this is how you get to have two columns or three columns or whatever you wanna do on the mobile with Elemental Free Basic Gallery. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. <laughs> Explosion! Never break.
always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking 